Okay, today our lesson is on evaluating and solving logs. We're going to use what we learned yesterday and how we translated logs to exponents to figure out what a logarithmic expression is. So if we look at the first one, we're going to evaluate log base 3 of 243. What we want to figure out is what is that equal to. And so we use what we learned yesterday and how to translate into an exponent. Um, how would I translate that? What would I get? 3 to the y equals 243. And what does y have to be? 5. 3 to the 243 power is equal to, I'm sorry, 3 to the fifth power is equal to 5, which means the log base 3 of 243 equals 5. Okay. Let's look at log 4 of 64. 4 to what power equals 64? 3. So the log 4 of 64 equals 3. That's what we're looking at. What about log 2 of 64? Oops. Log 2 of 64 is 6. What about five, log 5 of 25? 2. What about log 8 of 1 over 64? Negative 2. Okay, the fraction makes it negative. Any questions on how to evaluate logs? No? Okay. So now let's solve some log equations. We're going to solve these by rewriting them as exponents and then evaluating the exponent. So what would my exponential expression be or equation? What's the base? 4 to what power? 3 halves equals n. How do I evaluate 4 to the 3 halves power? No. I get 4, the square root of 4, y. Where does that come from? The 2. The denominator becomes the root, right? And the, expo the top becomes the exponent. Square root of 4 is 2 cubed, which gives me 8. So n equals 8. Let's look at an easier one. Log 3 of n equals 2. How do I rewrite that? 3 squared equals n, which equals 9. Log base 8 of n equals 4 thirds. What's my exponential equation? 8 to the 4 thirds equals n. How do I evaluate that? cube root of 8 to the 4th power. What's the cube root of 8? 2 to the 4th gives me 16. Questions? 